Hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about ProRata occupations and options to PR if you don't manage to score the required points. For example, if you have recently started studying MPA and you think that you, you can't score 80 points, the option is available for you. So if you look at the uh, invitation round for 18 Jan, these are the required uh, points you need per occupation. So accountants didn't get any invitation for two consecutive invitation rounds. For auditors, it's 75 points, electronics engineers, 75, and so on. So this you can check on Skill Select on the Department of Home Affairs website. So if you're an MBA or an MPA professional, the options available for you. If you're an MPA and you have started your studies, you know that uh, Nati will give you five points, professionally you have five points, AT needs 20 points. Everyone is doing it. You have started your studies. You want to get 80 points as well, and you want to apply for your PR. But this video is about a realistic touch of what options available are for you and what can you do if you don't manage to get the required score. So if you look at the IELTS 2015 chart of how many people actually managed to get eight overall not eight in each eight overall and the first languages being Chinese Hindi Urdu Vietnamese and Nepali Chinese people managed to score one percent so out of the whole population who applied for IELTS exam and their first language was Chinese only one percent managed to score eight overall for Hindi it was five percent Urdu four percent Vietnamese three percent and Nepali one percent so you basically get the idea of how difficult it is to actually score 80 plus points in if you're an accountant. So this option is not there for MBA. And if you have finished your MBA, MBA, which is of two years, and you want to look for options for PR, this is also for MPA professionals as well. So you have started studying MPA or MBA and you're finished, your, you're about to finish your studies or already applied for your 485 or thinking to apply for a 485. You can do what, what is called as a job ready program. Details of this I have also mentioned in another video which I'll provide the description in the description box. You can do 189, 190 and 489 subclass as an automotive, electrician, chef, etc. etc. So there's a lot of, a list of occupations available in the MLTSSL list. And majority of them are from trades occupation so with trades occupation for example if you're automotive or electrician you can do cert 3 and and work at the same time in your occupation and whereas if you're a chef you can do cert 3 certificate 3 and certificate 4 for these occupations 60 points is enough for you to get an invitation and apply for your PR I'll just give you a brief uh, idea of how easy it is if you look at 2017 and 2018 seats allocated for these trades occupation, chef was 2,675, out of which only 51 seats were filled. For electrician, it was 9,354, out of which only 27 seats were filled, and no seats were filled for automotive. So this option is very good for people looking for PR options. Either they can't get 80 in each with an MPA, or they have finished the MBA and can't get one year of post-qualification experience, which is required for skill assessment. So you can do trades occupation and you can do job ready program as well. Comparing the seats allocated for trades occupation and pro rata occupation, pro rata occupation seats mostly get filled. If you look at skill select from 2017 to 18, most of them were already filled. For example, accountants, for 189 subclass and 489 family sponsorship, the seats have already been filled and the rest of the seats will be allocated for other, other skill visas such as RSMS, ENS and so on. So this video was basically to give a, like a brief reality touch on if you, have, if you want to do MPA and you think uh, getting a PR is easy because 
like let's face it if you come on show and you want to study obviously most likely you're looking for options for PR so this gives a brief like a description on options available for you if you have any questions regarding migrating to Australia please feel free to contact us on the information provided to you on the screen thank you